here we are. Uh, last year I left you off here. Um, we're at the, the La Gatina Cantina and Cafe, established 1950. But this is a very old building. It's from back in the 1800s. They were closed last time we were out here at Arbica. We're here with Wayside Wade. And Kathy's here. We are going to go in and have some lunch today. But it's a beautiful area. I'm not going to walk through the town again. But uh, it's a beautiful place. Yes. Unwanted. Members of any vigilante or border militia group, including, but not limited to, the Arizona Border Recon, do not enter our establishment. Does that sound like us? I think we're yes. clear. <laughs> <laughs> they don't mind the uh, guy that, uh, from the wayside. And uh, a couple of couple of tramps. A couple of tramps and a mega bond. Should we go in? Ready to get something to eat? Getting hungry? Yes, hungry. Yes, yes, yes. We're inside the restaurant, the, the courtyard of the La Catina Cantina. We're sitting here yes. with with Kathy, yes. Wade. It's a beautiful day. Uh, nice and quiet out here today. It's a weekday. Uh, we ordered our food inside the bar there, and then they'll bring it out to us. But it's a beautiful little courtyard. It's, a, it's, a, it's an older building. Um, the building was built in the 1800s. This particular business has been in business since like the 50s or something like that. Um, but they have a party out on the patio on Saturday nights. And it's a beautiful little courtyard where we've enjoyed quite a few meals. Yes. And what, what do you like best here? I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> Just right. <laughs> we are out here in the middle of nowhere in Air, in the Arizona desert. Uh, book, book. <laughs> yep, we're in the middle of nowhere, and uh, we just entered the uh, Coronado National Forest. You can see the sign behind us. Wayside Wade is here with us, and uh, we're going out for a drive into some pretty remote areas. Yes. You can see over here the fire danger is moderate, so we will be careful. We won't have a campfire out here, <laughs> and it's a beautiful day. It's been kind of cool. It's been like in the 50s every day for highs, and it's still in the 50s now, but the sun is out. Beautiful day, and we are going to get out into some remote area. We hope you'll come along. And whoever says that there's not uh, water out in the desert would be wrong. We are in the middle of the Sonoran Desert. And you can see this is called Pino Blanca Lake. And it's just beautiful down here. You can see people go boating out here. Uh, you can't see any boats out here now. But it's nestled in among the, uh, the hills here. And it's quite a large lake. You can't really get the grasp of it here. I'm going to try to get a little bit closer here. You can see some people out here enjoying themselves.
see some people fishing out here. Yeah. <laughs> some people fishing out here. I don't know uh, how the fishing is here. Uh, but I imagine there's not all that many places to fish in Arizona here out in the desert. Don't know what they catch. Again, a young family out here enjoying the day. Now we're going to get a little more remote. Yes. At the end of uh, Highway 289, where it ends, uh, it starts getting serious. You get on the uh, Forest Highway 39, and uh, we're going to continue on towards Ruby and Arbica. These signs are quite common out here. We are about five miles from the border in this area. Okay, we are, we're here to Ruby, Arizona again. It's about 14 miles in after you leave State Highway 289 and get on Forest Highway 39 um, and you go further west by about 14 miles and uh, you're going to arrive in R Ruby, Arizona, which is right out behind us. You can't see it from here yet. And I'm going to flip the camera around. <laughs> Give them a better view. <laughs> <laughs> so if you look way off in the distance, I don't know if it's picking it up right here uh, with my camera. But the ghost town is back there. What it is, is it's an old mining village. The, the miners used to mine up on the hills right behind here. And uh, they built Ruby in 1907. Welcome to Ruby. It's only open Thursday through Sunday, 9 to 5. If you do not get a permit online, you have to walk to the caretaker for entry. Take a walk in here and get a better view of the... Wayne, Kathy, it's, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. It is time for Gate of the Week. <laughs> cut, cut, cut. Dave, there was no energy, no feeling, no emotion. Try it again. It's time for Gate, Gate of the Week. Feel the cold love energy. <laughs> Come on through the gate, Kathy. Thank you. Turnstile gate, you're up, Kathy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Come on through. This one goes to Nick and Jill. We just got to pull through here. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Now, how about a little dance? <laughs> Nick and Jill, Generation Explorers and Generation Experience. Yes. Uh, two great channels. Yes, yes. They're, a, they're a married couple from the UK, and we love them to death. And, uh, and uh, I'm going to have their link in the description and right here below you right now. <laughs> right below your hand. Point down. There it'll be. Okay, folks, here's how you get the, uh, the uh, permits. You go online. They are $15 adult, $20 if you want to uh, fish and camp. That is for a day. Ruby, Arizona, elevation 4,500 feet, founded in 1907. It shows the different partnerships they have here to help preserve it. And the town is right down this road. And this is a pretty impressive gate for a gate of the week, too. Yeah. Gate. Not that one, Kathy. I think she just wants to grab it for, to 
be sturdy. Come on through here. We're going to go through this. I think it counts as a gate. Turnstile gate. Turnstile gate. <laughs> All right, here we go. We came in, now we need to get out. All right. Well, now you're dancing yes. with it. <laughs> here, 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 here. You did it! Yes, I did, I did. Yes. Yes, we gotta do it. We gotta do it, huh? <laughs> yeah. That was fun. We want to thank you all for watching. Yes. Traveling Tramps, Wayside Wade. Thank you all for watching. Subscribe to Wade's channel, subscribe to our channel, and certainly subscribe to Nick and Jill's at Generation Explorers and Generation Experience. They got a great channel. You'll love them. Second it. Love y'all. Yes. You love everybody. Yes, yes. <laughs>